Hi, I hope you're well. Today is the 22nd of December. It is the last day that I'm working before Christmas because it's Friday and um, yeah, I'm just really excited about the new year because I have spent this morning finishing up the, oh like, it's not finished yet doing my planning for the new year. Yesterday I was talking about how I was really struggling with doing the nitty gritty planning. So quick recap um, for you guys. So I have set an impossible goal for 2018 and I've spoken in vlogs about why I have, uh, I'm setting a goal that way and in summary it's what I've learned like the goal setting that has been taught in self-coaching scholars which is the online self-coaching course that I do that Brooke Castillo runs and um, the point of an impossible goal is really to set a goal that your present day self couldn't achieve that you don't believe is possible for you and really set out to grow into the kind of person that could achieve that, to be willing to fail repeatedly, and all of the benefits that come with taking that kind of action. It's not failing where you don't take any action. You can only, like the failing I'm talking about is where you take action and don't get the result you want rather than not taking any action at all um, and not doing anything and just procrastinating or giving into your fears. So I set that goal, which is to make five hundred thousand dollars in my business in 2018 and I'm proud of myself for saying that very calmly just then but I'm still like my brain is like that's impossible definitely other bloggers can easily do it not easily actually I don't know anyway um I know I believe it's possible for someone who's doing what I'm doing but I don't believe it's possible for me so that's why it's my impossible goal um and so yeah I've been really struggling so I've been working on this goal since the 1st of December and um, this month in the course has really been focused on um, getting that determining that goal and like starting to manage your mind around it and also creating a list of 25 fails that you're or 25 results you're going to try to get and could fail at they have to all be ones that you might fail at and as I was saying not failing because you're not trying failing because you try and it doesn't work so um, it's really been challenging to come up with 25 things that I'm going to try to do and to really um, have a lot of constraint because at first when I did it I really wanted to, I was thinking of like 25 different things I could try and now it's I've done the whole list a, a few times over quite a few times over every time getting better and um, and I have really t I did it again today and I'm quite happy with the list and I've really constrained it to just things relating to my course get out of your own way so this is for the first quarter of the year and um, it's really uncomfortable putting that kind of constraint on yourself when there are other things you want to be working on. But I know that it's only that with that kind of focus that you actually get any real results. If I was trying to do 25 different things, I'm going to be like not really putting enough focus on any of them for them to succeed. And it's really challenging to do 25 things instead of doing one thing and trying 25 different ways to do that thing and to do it well so I hope that has made sense but yeah I've been really struggling with doing the nitty-gritty planning and I think that's been a mixture of um, just not wanting to let myself down and even though my goal is impossible and the point isn't to try and isn't to actually achieve it um, and that that's really an added bonus but to become the kind of person that can achieve that goal and to really just blow my own mind about what I believe is possible for myself um, and what I believe I'm capable of which I'm so excited about and yeah so 
I've been just scared to to create a plan and not have it be a good one or like I've just been anyway so I <laughs> did a um, some brainstorming in my journal about why I've been struggling with the planning and I was having all of these kinds of thoughts which were like I don't know how to plan this I'm not gonna plan it right it's gonna it's not gonna work like obviously you don't want to plan when you're having those kinds of thoughts and one of the thoughts that I love that Brooke has is um, every decision I make is going to be the right decision so so that like you make the decision the right one and that doesn't mean that you always get what you want but that you can really look for evidence that it's the right decision and not just it's just pointless second guessing yourself and you can always decide decide again or decide something different but to not just have that buyer's remorse which never really helps so so I did that and then I just did the planning and so now I have the results I'm going to try and get the 25 results in the first quarter of the year um, now I just need to do another level of planning which is to break that down into all the little to do's for each one and then put them in my calendar not have some ginormous overwhelming to-do list I'm thinking of creating a master list so I've got a Google Doc that has my 25 things I'm going to try and do, um, the results I'm going to try and get and really try. Like not just, oh yeah, I tried one thing and it didn't work, like just really, really try. So I'm then I've got that list and I'm going to create another list that has within that each little step that I need to take and then I'm going to estimate the time for that, figure out the best order to do it all in and then um, put it on my calendar. I'm just sort of struggling with the idea of putting three months worth of things into my calendar or if I just have designated times in my Google Calendar, uh, my, what am I saying? Wait, where am I going? Just realize I am stopping off to visit my grandma. Actually, I have gone the right way. It's good news. <laughs> you know, when you're just on autopilot, if you drive like I drive this way at least once time once time once every day and you just kind of on autopilot anyway so yeah I'm not sure if I'll just have this master to-do list and then every week and like a an outline of what I want to be working on each week and have that decided before the quarter begins and then every week check in with that make sure I'm on track and then schedule in the nitty-gritty of each week um, yeah so I'm kind of I feel like it's just the thoughts I'm having about previous times that I've planned and it hasn't I haven't stuck to it and that's purely obviously me but um, like I'm saying like I hope I stick to it like I'm not in control um, so yeah so that's what I have been thinking about and I basically was working on that all day and the planning stuff like just takes a lot of time to really nut out a solid plan and um, to schedule it into your calendar it's really tedious um, I'd rather just have a to-do list like I feel like that's why to-do lists most people have to-do lists just a big list instead of actual plans in their calendar that has a specific task at a specific time because figuring that out is actually much more challenging um, the beauty of it is though that once you have figured it out then you don't have this overwhelming to-do list you don't like have to be have this feeling that you're never done you can be like I'm just gonna look at my calendar and do what I have scheduled for the day and it really it helps so much like when I've done it it just it's so much better than a to-do list that isn't in priority order that isn't broken down to the right level of task like to the to the little tasks um, so so yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Um, I have to buy some super glue because I am doing this cute reindeer wrapping paper that I 
it's so on Pinterest. Did I see it on Pinterest? Yeah, I did see it on Pinterest. And it's just like brown paper with a cute little red fluffy thing as the nose and you draw the rest. And I've got the red fluffy things. They're just like that size from like a craft shop. Actually, I was very pleased because my wrapping, like it, because everything I bought wasn't actually Christmas wrapping, it was just brown paper and the craft things. Like it was like cheaper and I feel like it will just look cute. But anyway, remember to buy some super glue so I can stick them on and wrap my presents tomorrow and yeah I really want to watch love actually while I'm wrapping presents and I was gonna do it today but I was like I really um, like and I was gonna go and get the super glue this morning I was like I really just want to not quickly rush it rushedly do it in a rush um, I really want to actually enjoy it I love wrapping presents and um, making things pretty <laughs> so I'm gonna actually do that tomorrow I think um, at the end of the day because Steve's working wow my phone has jumped around a lot Steve is working until 7 so I think I'm gonna just plan to do it maybe at like 5 or 5.30 or something and just enjoy it so yeah that's all I have to update you guys on I was thinking today as well like once I can figure this out <laughs> I can actually share like I'm right in the middle of this process and I'm just so excited to know that I can look back and be like oh remember how much I was struggling and then this this was the roller coaster um, and this is how I stayed on it <laughs> I didn't didn't force myself to get off and stop the ride so the other thing I discovered today well I don't know if I should really say discovered but um, I've been wanting to take my own photos for my blog and you might have heard me speaking about getting help from my brother Alex to take some photos of me so um, we did that the other day and planning to do like um, quite a few little photo shoots and things which I think will also just be fun but I all yeah and then I want to take some lifestyle-y um, like office-y you know you know the photos those photos of my own I really I've been using stock photos um, but I really I now see so many bloggers using the same ones even though they don't use them in the same way that I do I just want to have my own photography and really um yeah have it be that full thing so I discovered that <laughs> this is gonna sound so dumb so my dad when he heard that Alex and I were doing some photos he lent us his tripod which we didn't use the other day but today when I was getting my Christmas shopping out of the boot I saw the tripod in my boot and I was like hmm like I am just gonna try this out so I set up the camera on the tripod and set it on timer and did all the settings and could like take photos of myself and how like I've never just had this realization that because um, I've seen people talk about taking your own photos having a remote um, but I didn't really want to have photos where I had to always hide a hand um, but I didn't realize I could just learn how to do it on my own so I'll still be getting Alex to help me but I think it'll also be good because I'm still trying to figure out how to actually pose and um, how to not look like a complete idiot in photos so yeah I'm really excited about that and about getting into photography and I just it's going to be so good to have the tripod as well because if you are trying to take photos and it's not very light and you want everything in focus then and you don't want it to be grainy then you need to have like the shutter open for a while so you can get some light in and you can't really do that without it blurring if you're hand holding it because like just naturally like there's that slight shake so that's going to be amazing for that and I saw some really cool blog posts the other day about how people take their own photos using really cool tripod setups that look insane um, so anyway 
that's all. I feel like lately I've just been blabbing on about nothing. And I'm glad you guys still comment and say that you like watching these videos because now that I'm well into the the hunt, like the hundred days, like I would never just stop it because I'm just, it's happening. I'm getting to 365, but just like, does anyone care? It's so funny. So funny how that does anyone care thought just keeps coming up. So if you have left me a comment, thank you. I really do appreciate it and I really appreciate the encouragement because um yeah I still am like what am I even saying and <laughs> I'm still and I still want to record it anyway for myself because it's just so cool even when I'm doing these every week and uploading them to look back on what I was talking about a week ago because it's always like oh yeah that was only a week ago and I was stressing about this or whatever so anyway I'm literally I'm done I, I'm leaving it here today. I know I've already said that, but I hope you're well. Hope you've had a great holiday season, and I will talk to you tomorrow.